saw something like this online, a corn stripper, a pneumatic corn stripper. Seems a little bit elaborate, but you know, it's pretty cool. So we're eight and you can strip corn pretty fast. This is a test run. I have just completed it. So let's take a look at what it can do. You got a joystick here, connected to about 80 pounds of pressure. And a piston. This is a little bit too long, but we're using it anyway. And then back up. Mm -hmm. So, this is just a simple bunt pan. And I took a um, you know, a tool, a tapered, whatever you call it, I'm not sure what to call it, forced it down through the hole and it pushed it up and created a, a sharp edge for it. A blade? A lip. A lip. Anyway, so that should work. That seems to fit fairly well. This is the first one we're running through. So, being very careful. It's not lined up correctly. I guess I'm going to have to make a, uh, a spot. Put some, some kind of screws or something there to locate the bowl. And here we go. No, that didn't work all that well. Well, it stripped it all right until the, until the piston went through it. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I guess I'm going to have to have something on, on there to keep that from happening again. Yeah, that didn't work all that well. Okay, we have made some modifications. Um, I have a piece of PVC. I drilled a hole to one and seven eighths, and uh, this one and a half, one and a half PVC fits in there tight. And then, of course, there's a one and a half inch hole at the bottom of that for the corn cob to go out. And then this fits on there, gives it some stability. You can put it right back where you need to go. And I reduced the travel of this piston by using a piece of half inch PVC. I put it in here, it's about four inches long. Keeps it from going all the way through. So. Those are the big changes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and this was Becky's idea right here, using this hole saw, and it works great. As far as I can, I, and we'll show that here in a minute. But I ground off the back of it, the hole saw, and then I sharpened the edge. I, I sharpened it this way so that the, you know, the, it would be cutting right on the cob. So let's see how this works. All right. Now, I don't recommend pulling this just, you know, slow. Oh, there was one other modification. I put a, I put a washer right here and kind of bent it so that it would cut the end of the cob instead of pushing and splitting the end of it. So I think that's going to work better. Don't we have some tongs that we got to hang onto the corn? Oh, yeah. <gasps> Four. Looks like I need to turn the pressure up, huh? Mm. Right, another modification. I lengthened the stroke of this by a half inch, so it would force it all the way through. So, let's see how it works, huh? Another modification.
navigation. I don't know if I showed you this part. I'm gonna put two bolts here to keep the blade from pushing through. And uh, let's see if it works. You want to go slowly. I turn the pressure up a little bit, so. Turn the pressure up. I think that's what I needed. What? Just like that. It helps if it's nice and flat when the when that washer hits it. Ooh, yeah. Well, I think we have it. Seems to be working pretty well. Uh, also, uh, the I turned it around. I turned the blade around and stay, so I don't have the serrated part. The teeth, teeth are down. This side is up. It's smooth and, and, and sharp. Worked better. Ready? Okay. There we go.